Welcome back to Door King Tech Tips. Today we will be continuing with the elevator controls and going more in depth with the relay slash elevator table. To get to the relay slash elevator table, click the plus sign next to your account. Then click on system information. The relay slash elevator icon is located in the top toolbar. The relay slash elevator table is where we tell the software which reader is in which elevator. This way the software knows when a card swipe comes across a certain reader it needs to send commands to the elevator. There are two main parts to the relay slash elevator table. The first that we will be looking at is the relays. In elevator controls only a Wigan device connected to relays 1 through 18 can be placed in the elevator to control the elevator. Relays 1 and 2 being on the 1830 series board and 3 through 18 being tracker boards. The next part of the relay slash elevator table is the elevator section. This deals with the elevator cars or elevator shafts. The Dorking software can handle up to eight elevator shafts. So to configure this table you must know two things. What relay and what elevator. Once you know these two answers you can fill out the relay slash elevator table. As you can see by our relay slash elevator table settings, we have one elevator and the reader in the elevator is attached to relay four. Congrats, that one check mark is all you need to complete this table. Now for a little test, I'm going to clear my relay slash elevator table and give you some information to see if you can fill out the relay slash elevator table correctly. For the test, here is your scenario. You have a large complex with multiple relays and elevators. Relay 1 on the unit is being used for the front door. Relay 2 is for trackers. Relay 3 is in the front elevator. Relay 4 is for the garage door. Relay 5 is the stairwell. Relay 6 is the back service elevator. Relay 7 is for the roof. Go ahead and pause this video, then when you're ready, continue to the answers. So this test was a little tricky as there were two elevators which means you should have two check marks. Elevator 1 was the front elevator and it was using relay 3. So you should have a check mark in the first column on the relay 3 line. Elevator 2 was the service elevator in the back connected to relay 6. So you should have a second check mark in the elevator 2 column and relay 6 line. Congratulations, you've made it through our relay slash elevator table video and completed your test. Check out our other elevator videos and we'll see you next time for more Door King Tech Tips.